de Dios. Vaya pecho. <risa> So guys, this is part two of two of this amazing interview with Hermes Gasparini. If you have not watched the first part, it is going to be on Hermes Gasparini's YouTube channel. He has created a new YouTube channel. So please subscribe to that channel. And Isa is also doing a really, really great job in arm wrestling, translating everything from the Italian part of arm wrestling into English, really doing a great job. So please subscribe to Isa Fitness as well. Again, this is second part, first part on Hermes Gasparini. Links to both channels will be in the description. You said you don't do anything for 10 days after a match. But what if the match yes. was very easy, Lily? Like you said, you were going to beat Devon 6-0, very easy. So you do, would you still take 10 days of break? No. After the competition, I, I start the training immediately. Mm -hmm. So you don't need any break after beating Devon? It's easy for me this match. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So, <laughs> Why are you loud, my friend? <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. You are... Why are you loud? You don't believe this? Isa is asking you. <laughs> Isa. Are you asking me? Uh, yes. Asking yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> Why I'm laughing? First of all, first of all, you're a very funny guy. Like you have a funny personality. So uh, of course we're going to laugh. But because I, uh, I don't know, I really want to see this match. I really want to see this match. That's why. That's why. That's why I'm laughing. It, it needs to happen. That, that, that's why. Hmm. So there were some questions about the uh, Alex Kordecha match as well. And you lost that match. But what do you think were your mistakes? Or do you think you can do anything different right now to beat him? I, I know I have heard you say that you need one more year to beat Alex. You did say that in one of the interviews. So what do you think you can improve on to beat Alex Kordecha? Um, Alex is very, is a very big friend for me, and uh, for this match, uh, I very, very interested me and I'm uh, such and underestimated, underestimated, underestimated him mm -hmm. because all the people told me, ah, you want six zero like this, and I uh, uh, don't train with uh, the. One percent percent focus, understand. Mm. Uh, uh, no, all days you are the top level, understand. It's normal if you compete uh, many times, you are not the same uh, same guy. Maybe one mm. day you lose, maybe uh, another day you win, and uh, but. Uh, after this match, my mentality completely changed. And uh, if you saw the match with Gennady, we are very different people. And now, with Alec, I was 120 kilo. Now, near 130 kilo. And uh, now, if we, we compete again, it's very is very different result mm -hmm. for me okay so yes are you are you planning to train only top roll or hook also because i have not seen anyone hook hermes it is very difficult to hook you so are you focusing only on top roll or hook as well if someone forces you in a hook in a match uh, the hook is my weakness Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, my focus is total on the the top road, but uh, John Brzezin, he told uh, I showed the video. If you are strong in one technique, you you train with this technique total. Mm -hmm. Because when you compete, you use this technique. I showed the video and. Uh, 
I believe him because uh, he don't. Uh, yes, maybe you change the technique when you are very difficult match, uh, but uh, when you lose with your best techniques, very difficult uh, to change the match for me. Hmm. Uh, so Hermes, let's now talk about yes, Devon. My book is strong, okay. but not top of top level. Mm -hmm. What? I think I think your top role is really good. You should, if you focus in that. I don't think there are many people who can hook you. Who who hooked you oh, last time? I Were you? Any pressure hook like this? But uh, no. Uh, yes, I know the specific uh, training with. Uh, for the hook, I training not too much, but my focus is on the top top run. All right. So let's now talk about Devon Laird for some time. And before that, Arimis, can you give us a bicep flex so that Devon knows what is coming? <laughs> now. Bicep. Yeah, bicep <laughs> flex. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Moran is looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I heard you saying last time that this will be the last time that you will be calling out Devon if he loses to Levan. Then you will ask him for having a match and if he still does not want to have a match, you will move on to other matches. You will not ask him once again. Is that right? No uh, capito, Isha. Ha chiesto, eh, siccome tu in un'intervista recente hai detto che nel caso in cui Devon dovesse perdere con Levan, tu gli proporrai l'ultima volta di fare un match con lui. Se poi non accetta, smetti di rincorrere, non lasci andare. Yes, e not yes, yes. Uh, I don't continue to ask him a match because if he, if he want, he can, if he can, same Matt Mask. But uh, he continued run away from me, from me. Go, go, stay in America, in Canada. Uh, and I continue my career. I continue to compete with uh, many people. Now they want, I understand him. Now he want to try the, the best uh, shape of the, his life with Levan and the, everybody want to, to match, to, to make a match with the Levan, everybody. Mm -hmm. Boy, and, 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 but uh, if he, he lose with Levan, for me, for him, uh, it's, uh, it's better to, to, to continue match five guys you understand mm -hmm. but uh, if he, he want to compete with the cadet or lale team or like this but with me no okay for me mm -hmm. no problem actually Hermes I don't know if you saw that interview or not but in one interview Devon someone asked Devon about having a match with you and Devon said that that match will definitely happen. It is impossible for that match not to happen. Devon versus Hermes will happen for sure. This is what Devon said in an in interview. Did you watch that interview? It, it was yeah, on yeah. Brandon Allen's Brandon Allen's channel. Brandon Allen, the guy who competed against Larry Wheels at King of the Table 2. Yeah, yes, I know. No. On, on, on his channel. Devon said that he will have a match with you in the future. Yeah, yeah, in the future, okay. Uh, it's very interesting match for the the fans of arm wrestling. It's very inter interesting. To understand? Everybody want everybody wanted to see this match, and uh, me too. Hmm. Because uh, the first thing is a uh, a legend, same uh, John Brazil. And for me, to compete with this legend, for me, is very, very beautiful for my career and uh, for, 
for me, no? And uh, the second thing is, uh, I think I, I have a possibility to beat him. I'm very curious and uh, I want to try. You understand? Uh, this, this is uh, old. And, and if <laughs> Devon beats Levan on June 25th, will you still want to have a match or will you be scared after that? <laughs> no, no. I don't have a uh, seriously. I don't have a scare with, with, with the not because mm. uh, my uh, my character is very like a gladiator. You understand? <laughs> to 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 compete with everybody, I don't have a scare for lose mm. or like this. Okay. I competed four or five times in four months, four, five months, and yeah. uh, if you, uh, if uh, I have a scare with uh, to compete, uh, you don't compete many times. Understand? Mm-hmm. You calculate the, the match. If you win, you go. If you lose, you not don't go. But I go, and uh, you see. I I know. I I'm just trying to make you angry, <laughs> a little bit. So, one question, <laughs> one question, Hermes. When was the first time that you thought that now I can beat Devon Lerret? Was it in 2018, 2019, 95 kilos, 105 kilos, 100 kilo? When was the first time you thought, now I am ready to beat Devon? I don't know the the specific period, but uh, for me, I know my style is very very hard for for them because uh, if I take his uh, his wrist, uh, I have a very big big percent to to beat him. Mm. And uh, I saw the video with Devon, yes, with Matt Mask, uh, he won many times, he lost two, three rounds in the, the long period. Mm. But uh, maybe, maybe in 2021, I understand the uh, I possibly to beat uh, Devon Larat after Matmas. No, yes, after Matmas. Yes. Now, now, my, the percentage is uh, more to beat him because when I competed with Matmas, I, I, I was one hundred seventy kilo. Now I'm a different people. I'm a different, very different. Mm-hmm. So, on I think it was March 10, 2021, you challenged Devon Laird for $10,000. Devon and Matt Mask at the same time. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> please tell us more about that offer. And wh- I think Ma- Matt Mask also nobody accepted that offer. Matt told us that the money is not good enough because two thousand dollar travel, two thousand dollar coming back, two thousand dollar quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Matt uh, is uh, because uh, when I lost uh, in USA. And uh, I lost with uh, no good rules uh, like this. Uh, I want uh, the revenge with the uh, Matt Mask for, for my career, you understand? With, uh, for, uh, for find my very power with him, with uh, the normal rules and uh, and I beat him, uh, and then now continue with this uh, this this rules for me is perfect. <clears throat> but uh, Devon, he don't he don't want uh, to fight me because uh, I'm not his level like this. Uh, okay, but uh, I beat Matt Mask in the two one year ago, and for me it's, uh, it's the 
very beautiful for my career to 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 beat a si dice a battere uno che ho perso diciamo it's hard to beat somebody with the, who i lost uh, yeah so i was uh, kind of confused and i remembered this 10000 dollar from hermes because jerry recently offered anyone in north america a 2 to 1 bet you know about that hermes you were talking about that on engins channel Ma so only, devon only accepted north america or on the world uh, i am also not sure i think maybe it was uh, okay maybe you're right it was all over the world i think but i was wondering because devon accepted jerry's bet but not yours when you offer 10000 dollar devon did not accept and when jerry offers money devon accept even though he has already defeated jerry he wants to defeat him <laughs> two times but uh, not your offer <laughs> i told you him they 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 calculate understand <laughs> uh, so uh, you were at the press conference with devon and i got really excited you were really really good at the press conference and i made a video <laughs> i said that Hermes Hermes Gasparini's friend Isa he also hates Devon Leonard <laughs> because you said about <laughs> I I remember you said about four five words maximum four five words to Devon and Isa translated in four five lines four five sentences <laughs> and he was <laughs> he was he was talking He was talking the shit with Devon. <laughs> the angry translator. <laughs> uh, uh, man, I'm <laughs> very good translator. <laughs> Put the 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 table in the middle and let's go now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you man, did you say man. that? Did you say that? Put the table and I will beat you now, or Isa himself said that on his own? Cosa? Hai detto tu a Devon di mettere tavolo in mezzo a sfidarlo? Me lo sono inventato. Sì, sì, io ho detto il tavolo, Rigo. So the table uh, with a broke your arm. Now. You you said you said that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So this is this is why I I was talking about it because it was really exciting for me. Before you Devon told John Brzezink that if you put the table here i can beat you right now devon said that two times to john brzezink and after that after some time you said to devon you put the table here and i will beat you right now no. <laughs> but devon did not do that <laughs> so my question is if devon said yes let's have a match now what would you have said and i know the guys core sports and pr lifestyle guys they will not allow you to have a match at press conference obviously but what if they said let's have a left handed super match right now can you could you have defeated devon that day left handed because right handed it was not possible to have a match because you also had to go against gennady you would also no, not do that right <laughs> but in the When when uh, the, with the left match with the that cast of sequel giorno quando c'è il metta vuole in mezzo che ci sfidiamo ipoteticamente avessimo metto tu e lui non potevamo tirare col destro perché avevate entrambi il match il giorno dopo Io ci facevo sinistro io Yes yes ipoteticamente chi avrebbe vinto Ah non lo so io sicuro <laughs> he thinks that he would have won for sure. Okay. So, let's again talk about Devon's a uh, left-handed possible match against Devon because right-handed it is not possible right now and maybe left-handed it is also not possible. But maybe in the future if they want to do both left and right-handed super matches, I think both of them can be close. Devon defeated Wagner and you also defeated wagner but your win was really fast like you defeated him in 1 second and devon devon also dad moved him by grabbing him low it was a good victory but you in my opinion you looked very dominant against wagner so does that give you a opinion about that match do you think 
you can beat devon easily or he will also win some rounds or he will beat you maybe beat me impossible but uh, no lie no, no, now i'm serious uh, i'm don't uh, i'm not very confident uh, with my left hand because uh, uh, it's not same uh, like uh, right hand, like uh, right arm. For uh, I don't know for uh, the movement is not not very clean. And, you know, you understand the connection is not very. It's not same. Uh, left arm, I'm I'm strong, but uh, my wrist. Uh, is uh, not very strong, uh, same uh, right hand. This uh, and the, the arm is not very strong. Same, uh, my right arm is bad, maybe 20 percent more stronger hmm. or more or more. I think it is the we, same for Devon as well. Devon's right arm is also very strong compared to the left arm. And I think sure. I think Devon will definitely be watching this interview. So your challenge is right-handed. Would you like to challenge him left-handed as well? Both left and right-handed super match. Left and right. Big super match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be interesting. I don't and, have and, a Ermit, problem. I fight with everybody. Devo, Laleti, Cefi, Kivinia, Kuteka, another time. I don't have a problem. I don't have a scare with, no, with nobody. So you have said many times that uh, you are going to beat Devon. You are going to beat Devon. But you don't explain exactly. Like, please tell our viewers how is that match going to go? What is that match going to look like? Like, Start right from the starting, from the beginning. How are you going to deal with Devon's endurance when he's trying to mess with your hand for five minutes in the setup? And are you going to press him or top roll, then press him or top roll him to the pad? How is go that match going to go? The match is going to go same uh, as Kivinia, more or less. Okay. Like this. I open this wrist uh, more or less the same uh, Gennady. Mm -hmm. And after he tried to 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 hold me, but uh, when I go in the press, it's very difficult to 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 mm -hmm. to hold me, to hold me. To hold me, yes. It's very difficult to hold me when I go in the press. Mm -hmm. Same again, Adik Vigna. The match is going to, to train like this for me. Mm -hmm. Right. So, first, top roll. If you are not able to win by top roll, then press. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every time. It's so, you have. Hermes, you have mentioned four opponents that you would like to compete against. Dave Chaffee, Vitaly, Devon, and Jerry. I would ask you who out of these four is the most difficult match, your chances lowest, and who is the most easiest match, highest chances? For me, most uh, difficult is uh, I don't know or Laleti or David Chaffee. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very difficult to predict this uh, this man this two match. Uh, maybe 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 Laleti. The depends, depends because I, I try with him when I was 120, sorry, 112 
kilo. When I compete, uh, compete, I practice with uh, the lady. And now, maybe now for me, maybe now uh, Dave is more stronger than reality. Very little percent, very little. And uh, because uh, the, the chef have uh, very, very strong power in the side, side pressure, understand? And if you take his wrist, he continues to push in this way, and it's very difficult to, to hold him. And, and uh, if I uh, take the wrist of Lalitin, when uh, I take the wrist of Lalitin, he lose immediately, like this. Uh, for me, is for me is more difficult with uh, Dave Chef. Yes. And the easiest match. And the easiest uh, match uh, is Cadoret uh, and Devo. Only one. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Not two. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he is you he's trying to be politically to, uh, correct. Right? <laughs> you want to speak? I speak Devo, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't uh, want anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see your face. Maybe, maybe Kadore. Yes, I, I, I'm. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, to think uh, I lost in this position because he mm -hmm. went like this, no? the the press, and uh, I have a total control of the, his hand, uh, and uh, my my arm is very close. Mm. I'm, this is my maximum power in this position. It's very difficult I lost in, in this position. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a cut of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can see Jerry versus Travis Bajent, lot of matches. And Travis, I think you definitely have a stronger arm than Travis Bajent. But Travis Bajent's hand was also very great. So what Travis was telling everyone against Jerry, his opinion about or his advice competing against Jerry. Travis was saying that when you go against Jerry, if you when you take his hand, if you try to finish him with side pressure, he puts so much pressure towards you that your elbow goes back of the pad. If you try to apply side pressure, your elbow goes back because of his pressure. And if you try to plant your elbow so that it does not go back down pressure on your pad, then you do not have enough side pressure to beat him. So this was the problem that Travis was saying is to beat Jerry. Yeah, this is the problem of Travis, no, no, me. I don't <laughs> have this problem. <laughs> yeah, this is why I said that you have a stronger arm than Travis. Your side pressure will be better once you are in this position. And uh, now, now you have said that uh, Jerry is the easiest match. I'm going to send this clip to Jerry and he's going to upload a video about that <laughs> on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> See, you say you say Devon or you say Jerry or anyone. I already have a plan for that. I know what to do with that clip. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice job, my friend. <laughs> uh, so, Hermes, you are going to Turkey to Istanbul as a guest in East versus West three because you said you need to take a break as you earlier mentioned you have been competing for every month in a super match so please tell us something about Engin Terzi and his east versus west three event where Larry Beals is also going to be a guest along with you yes. so please mention something about that event uh, all right. uh, is very incredible to to think uh, to organize this very big event with uh, many many superstar legends uh, in, in, in one competition. You understand? Uh, it's incredible. This uh, event uh, and the last event is 
super, super for arm wrestling is uh, amazing. For the community of arm wrestling is uh, amazing. And uh, this is, Andy is very, very beautiful person, very uh, clean person and uh, very serious. All, all is uh, perfect. The, this. Hmm. And uh, Isa, w- would you like to say something to our viewers before we end this? I would like, I would ask you to take at least one minute. Let's say if you can ha- have an impromptu one minute good speech about our, sure. for our so, viewers. <laughs> so the thing is, uh, the thing maybe I'm most known for is the translation between uh, what happened with Hermes and Devon. And I just want to clarify a thing. You like my video? I didn't you like my video? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I remember the day you published it. I was still in Dubai and I commented. And you deleted my comment when I clarified what I'm going to say is that I didn't say anything that uh, Hermes didn't told me either before or during. or I just told what Hermes told me. And the reason I was speaking that much is because Devon was keep interrupting me and Hermes. So I had to like to say all the things that he said before and then like say it to him. So that's that's one thing. And the other thing is, you know, I've known Hermes for a year. I've been following his journey, his career for the last maybe year, year and a half. And I truly believe that he's going to go somewhere very, very high. Uh, beating a lot of big names. I really, truly believe in him. I just wish he could have the opportunity to prove himself. Um, and he will, he will, he will in the future. But uh, you said that Devon wants to challenge him. He said in the, in the podcast, I saw that. I also recently saw a few clips where Devon told he was not going to challenge him. So I was also very confused about it. I would like for Devon to come up and clear that position. That would be great. Also, lastly, you just have to thank Eng and Thursday and King of Table organization for what they are doing for the growth of the sport. It's just amazing. And also for you, man, because your, your job is also amazing, what you're doing for the community as well. So thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And actually, I forgot to ask my favorite question that I ask all of my guests and i will ask you both of you this question before we end starting with hermes what pisses you off about arm wrestling what is the thing that you dislike about arm wrestling or arm wrestling fans or anything related to arm wrestling that makes you angry <laughs> uh, i want uh, everybody respect have a respect for all athletes don't uh, with uh, maybe some videos with uh, bad words like this. Uh, mm. For me, it is impo- very important. We have two Hermes Gasparinis right now. I don't know <laughs> why. Yeah, no. Okay. So, Hermes, I want to this tell you one thing. This is yeah. only things, I think. Uh, Yes, before the style of the with the bar, the, 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 the rules, I don't like the, the mm-hmm. rules of the, the why. Uh, same with the bar. But now I think all is uh, correct. All right. Everything is getting better. So, Hermes, I would like to tell you one thing. I am a very big fan of you. Very big fan. And before till now i would say a month or two ago prudnik was my favorite arm wrestler but after i started watching you your energy at the table you just shouting at your opponent after you getting a pin you almost scared arif artem and <laughs> ginadi quick vini after you <laughs> defeated them you were you're shouting at their way i like this energy and you are also really really funny i liked your videos with prudnik very much definitely a lot of humor and you're a <laughs> good good person as well so right now i can say the comedy continue in turkey i, I, I do many many video in turkey with the prudnik with matmas <laughs> so wait, wait. Uh, maybe one more one more practice pulling with Matt Mask with the with the left arm maybe or right arm, <laughs> but Matt Mask is competing both left and right handed, so he will be tired after the event. Yeah, so I can proudly say right now that you are my and and I'm not lying just because you are my guest. You are my favorite arm wrestler in the world in 2022. 
thank you <laughs> so and miss before we end this interview i really really thank you very much for giving your valuable time to come on my channel and one part is going to be on your channel as well thank you very much any last words to our viewers thank you my friend thank you for inviting me and uh, you do amazing job with uh, your video and uh, for the community is very is very good for growing up you you are lying you have you have not watched my videos you are lying you have <laughs> not watched my video no no yes i watch every video seriously yeah i'm very fan of from wrestling i'm uh, i watch everything uh, with uh, the discussion if i don't watch one video you should send me a video watch the video lara the, the speak to <laughs> you uh, and go back <laughs> yeah it's very interesting right thank you very much hermes thank you isa thanks to all of you very much man.